<clears throat> this is the mix that I always have. This is the air root powder that I got from the farmer's market, the Argo, and great value mix. This is all I got left. This is it. Y'all want some? So, this weekend, I had played a game. And the game was called Bad Choices. So, I just wanted to ask y'all some of the questions to see if, um, what would you say? Mm. So one of the questions was, one of the questions was, if you found a wallet full of money, but it also had the ID and the address of the owner. Would you return it? Y'all think about that while I get into this. Again, the question was, if you found a wallet full of money, but it also had the address and the name of the person, of the owner, would you return the wallet or would you return it? That's the question. I say that I say back in my younger days, I probably would have took the money and send back the wallet because. The worst thing about <coughs> losing stuff or losing your personal property is having to cut off all your cards, get a new ID, get a new social security card, whatever you have in your wallet to replace those things. That's the hardest. That's the most that you have to do. The money you pretty much know is gone, right? But I find myself now, if that was to happen to me now, I probably would return the whole thing. People, it's hard times out here, man. And I want somebody to return mine. You know, I wouldn't be mad though if they returned it and took the money. But at the same time, I probably would just return it. Y'all let me know what y'all would what y'all would do in that instance. Or, you know, it's up to you. Mm. Another question was 
if you're new, you can get your child out of trouble. So they say your child did something bad. You knew that you could do something and make it all go away. Whatever they did, you can make it all go away. With no repercussions to your kid. But they did something really, really bad that they would never learn a lesson from. Would you do it? Like, would you fix the situation? Um, if my child generally, if it was like a really, really bad mistake and I knew if I didn't fix it, they would either go to jail forever or lose their whole future, um, I probably would do it. I probably would fix the situation, make it go away, whatever. Now, if it was something small where they don't get on probation, or lose a scholarship or something like that, I will let them learn a lesson and I wouldn't fix anything. But if it's something that's just going to be, and I, I know they weren't a bad kid. Now, my child is out there wild and they are a bad kid. That's different because 10 times out of 10, I have warned them and warned them and warned them and they continue to disobey me and do what they want to do. So these are the consequences. But if my child made a simple, small mistake, something that, you know, wrong place wrong time kind of thing or wrong people wrong friends and they didn't know i may i don't know what y'all would do mm. This is the last one I'm going to ask y'all. Mm. Would you marry somebody because they were very wealthy? Not rich. Wealthy. Meaning... They got money on top of money on top of money. And their family does as well. But you didn't like them. They were unattractive. They didn't have a good personality. They didn't have any of the qualities that you like. Or would you marry them because they're wealthy? Yeah, it'll be a yes for me. Hey, I already said, I told myself before that if my marriage, my current marriage doesn't work out and I get a divorce, I'm not married for love again. No, I did been there, done that, went through the mood, done dealt through the mood with dogs, and um. Next time I marry him, he's gonna be rich. He can hate me. He can <coughs> cheat. Mm -hmm. He can have 20 other bitches. 
All right, as long as that coin is coming in my account and I can travel and live my life and do what the fuck I want to do. Yep, he the one, Lord. <laughs> He the one, Lord. Next time, I'm here for money. What y'all think? What, I mean, do you just have to be in love? You know, love is a beautiful thing, you know. And I'm I'm married now. But I'm saying, if it don't work out, you know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all, y'all try to answer those questions if you feel comfortable. If you don't, it's fine. Um, I just wanted to come over here real quick before I took a shower and left. I got ready for my day and say happy Monday to my friends. Um, mm. Y'all know a little straw. Favorite. Mm, mm, mm. All right, friends. 